Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Perry, and I want to tell you a story. Even at my mother's death, she was hilarious. Let me back up a little bit. My mother could find the funny in anything. I'd come home complaining about some flight attendant thinking that I shouldn't be in first class, and my mother would say, I know just how you feel. I'm thinking, when was she in first class? And then she'd follow up by saying, I go up next door to the whipping post. In other words, we're making progress. Keep going. Things will change. It will be painful. She could say all of that in one little phrase. One of her favorite phrases was, don't borrow no trouble. They got enough of his own. And she would just reduce it to, stop borrowing trouble. You complain about something, stop borrowing trouble. You're taking trouble, you're borrowing it, you're making something into something. She had a way of doing that. Well, on the day that was to be her last, a few days before we would had to come from home and go back to the hospital. And my mother had been in and out, in and out of hospital for about two years. And we were renovating the downstairs for her to make an apartment for her and so she wouldn't have to go up the stairs and she'd be right there and the contractors were there working and she was going down the steps and she was really having a hard time and my son wanted to carry her and she said no I walked in here I'm gonna walk out and she called all the contractors over and she put her hand on their each of them's head there was only two guys and and my kids who did all the work and she put her hand on everybody's head and she said, you all have done a wonderful job, but I won't be living in here. I will see you, but I won't be living in here. And, and on that last day, uh, my mother had actually coded and the team came running in because she had filled out paperwork, but it hadn't even processed yet. It was just done. And the team came in to, re to revive her and then out of nowhere she says wait wait I'm not done I'm still here I'm still I'm fine hold on hold on <laughs> and one nurse was like just staring and someone on the team said why did you call code she said I don't look I don't know how she's talking <laughs> I know what I, I know what happened so I said well mom you made it you're gonna be all right you're gonna be all right she said, no, 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 I'm done. I'm done. I'm tired now. It's time for me to go. I just, I just had some things to tell you. And she gave me that gift that I've shared before of a clean slate. And then she went on. We, we have a dog who reminds us of my mom. And there are times I'll look at a fellow and say, is that you? Mom, are you in there? Are you in there, mom? Othello's old. Um, Othello is, is really up there. And a couple of times this week, Othello has given us reason to um, be worried. One of those times was the birth of my second granddaughter uh, was a few days ago, which is pretty exciting. And then Othello that night was at the bottom of the steps, just wheezing and couldn't get up and we couldn't get him up. He was just wheezing and we thought, oh, and my daughter said, no, we got to go to the vet. I don't want him to suffer any. And it was about maybe 1.30 in the morning. And so we'd been running around all day anyway from the birth of my granddaughter. And now here was Othello. And my daughter called me back and I was expecting to hear what I had heard before with our dog, Bella, that she wasn't going to make it. Um, I had to stay home because my other granddaughter was here. And so Fatima calls and she says, just like grandma. Othello's not done. <laughs> and Othello, she said, came walking out with a treat in his mouth like, what? I was, what? I just wanted to see if y'all cared. <laughs> oh, life is funny. Death is beautiful. Birth is miraculous. And all of these things connect if we're willing to see it, if we're willing to step out of what we think we've lost and see all that we've gained. Sometimes um, Othello will sit just under my feet as if to say, don't worry, I'm here with you. 
I've never left. Sometimes I'll hear, hear something that sounds like my mother's voice, or I'll smell, get a whiff of lilac and roses, and feel like she's right here. Sometimes a child is born, and we stop and we notice. But it is all connected. And if we would stop borrowing trouble from this place or that place, we could see all the many miracles and beauties of life that are happening in every single moment. I love you.